Welcome, this recording is related to week 10's lecture of the course Insurance Risk Models. In this recording I'm discussing desired or expected properties of the credibility factor Z and related to that is the study of the factor K in Bullman model. So Z is an indicator of the credibility of individual experience. So a first property we would like Z to have is that it should um, it should increase if you have more experience. The more data you have, the more credibility you can assign to that data. So this is if T in Bullman model increases. Also, it should um, increase if it's easier to differentiate between um, the different risks. I'll explain that in more details. That is either if the risks are very different so this relates to the graph I've shown several times now if you have distributions of losses for different risks that are very far from each other, it's easy to differentiate the risks. They are very different. So if you have an observation here, um, you will know it almost truly that it comes from that um, distribution rather than this one. So the farther they are from each other, the better. And this is um, encapsulated in what we call the variance between the A. So you want it to be maximum or uh, the higher the better in other words. Now it's also easier to differentiate if the risks don't overlap. So look at the following situation. If you have a distribution that are more or less centered, centered at, the same, at the same place, but they are less peaked. You have two distributions like that. So this is the variance of the distributions themselves. And that's what we call the variance within. And this is encapsulated by S square. So this is something you want the smallest possible. The smaller the better. Okay, now um, Z in Bullman model is t over t plus k and that's also t over t plus s square over a and this is a t over a t plus s square so is z increasing when t increases so if t increases then z increases good um, this is respected now, if the variance between risks increases, which is what we want, or we want the higher the better, um, then this 
means that k will decrease k is s square over a and this means that the z will increase which is what we wanted also if you look at this expression it's obvious that if a uh, increases z goes to 1 now s square is something we want the smallest possible so what if s square decreases so if s square decreases k decreases and z will increase and that works so this z of Bullman uh, in Bullman model respects these properties and this is also a way to um, interpret z now if you want to interpret k a bit more precisely and this is related with slide 56 of the uh, lecture notes z is s square over a now if I divide both elements by m square you have um, on the denominator and numerator of the, the fraction you have indicators of the variability between and the variability with, within so you have something um, of the kind variability within and variability between so a was the variance of mu of theta and s square was the um, the expected value of sigma square of theta so um, here you really have a coefficient of variation because a oh it's a it's not a square sorry there um, this ratio here is the variance of mu of theta over the, the expected value of mu of theta squared so this is really a coefficient of variation of the variability between here uh, it's not a pure coefficient of variation but it's a bit the same s square is um, a variance it's it expressed in dollars squared and you can say that uh, all these variances within each line they are centered on different means but overall the the mean of these means is what we um, call m so this is also something that is similar to a coefficient of variation but for the variability within so k is um, an indicator of the ratio between the variability within which is something that is bad for credibility and the variability between which is something that is good for credibility so z being t over t plus k well z when you have a lot of experience it's one because k doesn't matter anymore k is not a function of the number of observations but for given experience you will give less credibility if the variability within increases or if the variability between decreases and that's the role of this factor k in our credibility factor z